Is atheism dead? Yes, says Eric Metaxas, and not only that, he says science, archaeology, and history all point to a creator now more than ever. I have literally never been as excited ab about a book. From Bonhoeffer and Amazing Grace, the story of William Wilberforce, to Martin Luther, best-selling author and radio host Eric Metaxas is out with his newest book, Is Atheism Dead? I'm not really particularly taking on atheism. That's a part of the book, but I'm framing it in the way that I do with the title Is Atheism Dead? particularly because in 1966, Time Magazine had this infamous cover article that said, Is God Dead? And that got him thinking. I thought, I keep bumping into outrageous evidence for God, like really outrageous, the kind that I've never bumped into in my life before. He points to two specific examples. One has to do with the discovery of biblical Sodom, which is astonishing. In roughly 1650 BC, the city east of the Jordan, called Tal el Hammam, was destroyed by a meteor. Scientists now believe the city could be the site of Sodom, the ancient biblical city destroyed for its wickedness. The other is uh, having to do with the idea of where did life come to begin with, right? We always talk about evolution, but we never talk about four billion years ago, you scientists say life emerged on planet Earth as single cells, but nobody really can explain how did that happen. So those, these things kicked it off. And I thought, you know, there is so much evidence from science besides the one that I just mentioned. There's so much evidence from archaeology besides biblical Sodom. I thought maybe I need to write a book where I present a lot of the evidence that I've had the privilege of bumping into that other people might not know about, including most believers. I thought it has piled up over the, over the years and the decades like snow, you know, overnight. You don't hear it and suddenly you wake up in the morning and you think, where did this come from? And it's, you know, drifts uh, against the door, you know, three feet high. Eric addresses it all, laying out the evidence for God. We've come to a place in science and in history where we can now know before, maybe we couldn't, but we can now know that science is, is compatible with Christian faith and that in fact it was Christian faith that led to modern science. Tremendous irony when you think of this secular narrative we've been dealing with roughly since Darwin. On the contrary, he says any more science, archaeology, and history simply do not support a godless creation. So we, we've been living with this kind of myth, this lie that science and scientists are at odds with faith, that's profoundly untrue. And I would even go a step farther and quote my friend John Lennox, uh, the great mathematician who's written on this subject, and I quote him a lot in the book, but he says that it's not just that science and faith are compatible. What is incompatible with science is atheism. That's a shock. That's a headline. You know, that's the, that's the man bites dog kind of headline. He says today in 2021, the question isn't, is God dead, but is atheism dead? Science at least points to a creator God, a tremendous intelligence. The greatest atheist of the 20th century, uh, Anthony Flew, uh, Jean-Paul Sartre, uh, Albert Camus, all of them, the ones who took atheism the most seriously, eventually realized that it was more rational to believe in a God than in no God. Eric says his book isn't just for Christians. He says it's for anyone wrestling with life's biggest questions. In Washington, Jenna Browder, CBN News.